So good morning if you're watching this, or good afternoon, or good evening, depending on what time of the day it is. We're going to keep treading along. We're on number 11. Can't believe it, right? So number 11 is going to be Steven Montez from the Seattle Sea Dragons. Originally out of Colorado, he spent time in the NFL with the Washington football team, the Washington Commanders, and most recently the Detroit Lions. Montez is kind of a thicker, slower version of... Taysom Hill, and originally in 2020 when the the Washington football team was down a couple quarterbacks, they were actually going to use him in that Taysom Hill role. Overall, he had a short camp coming out of Colorado undrafted in 2020, made the team with the practice squad, didn't, wasn't, I think he was active for one game, it was the Garrett Gilbert game, and then eventually spent 2021 with the team and was cut, picked up by the Lions and cut again last year in 2022 by the Lions, only to be re-signed for the last couple weeks of the 2022 season. He's played in two preseason games. He's thrown 34 pass attempts with six, almost 65% completion percentage, one touchdown, one interception, and that was in 2021. He's also had four rushing attempts in his two preseason games for 22, 22 yards. Montez came out of Colorado. He started almost 40 games there, threw 13,000 pass, uh, 1,300 pass attempts, almost 10,000 yards, 63 touchdowns to 33 interceptions. Now his college stats passing wise are eerily similar to Drew Plitt, but he also almost rushed for a thousand rushing yards in college while at Colorado. The two quarterbacks are pretty similar, with Plitt being the number 12. But what gives Montez, the advantage is that he is got more pro experience. Now he goes to Seattle after a short stint with the Detroit Lions of the NFL, and he'll probably be backing up Ben DiNucci. Originally, the Seattle Sea Dragons picked up Ben DiNucci, Steven Montez, late edition, and Brian Lewerke, but Lewerke was cut, made a video about that, put it down in the description, and then the team brought in Harrison Frost. Seems like the pecking order would be pretty natural. Montez looks to be a little bit of a gadget player, you know, run some read options, some some true QB sneaks and whatnot, similar to how they use quarterbacks in the CFL, that third down QB. But look for Montez to be ser- serviceable if he's needed. He's a big guy. He's got a decent arm, pretty athletic. And look for that system to really let him succeed and any quarterback that goes under center. Once again, Steven Montez coming in at number 11 on our way to quarterback early quarterback rankings. And I'll be pushing the rest, rest of these out as time goes on. Thank you guys. Have a great night.